World War I and World War II are events that have shaped the world that we live in to a huge degree, and their impact on world history and politics cannot be overstated. So it definitely should not come as a surprise that historical movies about World War I and World War II are a regular feature in cinemas and streaming platforms all across the world. And in this video, I will give you my recommendations of the top 5 upcoming World War movies that will be getting released in 2024. And these all seem like great war films that could have a lot of potential. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows, then subscribe to my channel, History Spot. And lastly, I just wanted to apologize for the terrible audio in this video. I have lost my voice due to a cold and sore throat, so thank you for bearing with me. For the duration of this video. At number 5 it is Blitz, an upcoming World War II movie which explores the life of a group of people living in London during the early years of World War II and how the bombings that occurred in London and surrounding cities by the Axis forces disrupted the lives of British citizens and the common folk. This movie will go in depth into highlighting what life was like for the normal citizen during World War II in London and how they all work collectively to make sense of all the chaos in the world around them and find a new sense of normal in their life. This movie is directed and written by Steve McQueen and it will star Sayors Ronin and Harris Dickinson in the primary roles for this film and Stephen Graham and Gavi Singh Chera will be joining the supporting cast as well. Blitz is going to be releasing exclusively to Apple TV and it will definitely be getting released to the streaming service at some point in 2024 although an official release date has not been confirmed as of yet. Shooting for Blitz completed in early 2023 and I am pretty sure that over a year later post production work for this movie should be complete now as well. So I can't wait to watch Blitz when it gets released to Apple TV at some point in 2024. At number 4 it is Before Dawn which is set to get released to Australian markets on April 4 of this year which will be followed by a worldwide release on September 2nd. This upcoming World War 1 film will take viewers to the Western Front and it will tell the story of a fictional Anzac soldier named Jim Collins who leaves his small sheep farm behind in Australia to go fight on the front lines of the Western Front. This movie will star Levi Miller as Jim Collins and Ed Oxenbold and Miles Pollard as a part of the supporting cast. These are actors that I am unfamiliar with but all three are supposedly pretty well known within Australian cinema. Before Dawn is based off of real life war diaries from Australian survivors of several battles from World War I and it hopes to bring to life the chaos and destruction of war in a way we haven't seen before. So even though it doesn't seem like Before Dawn is bringing anything overly original to the table as far as I can tell, it still has been a long time since I've seen a great World War 1 film and I'm hoping Before Dawn can renew audiences interest in World War 1 and bring some more depictions of the Great War to our television and movie cinema screens. At number 3 it is Born Hoefer, an upcoming historical drama which tells the extraordinary story of Dietrich Bonhoeffer a German pastor and theologian who was a vocal critic of the Nazis and was even accused of being involved in the 20 July plot to assassinate Hitler and several top ranking Nazis. And whether this accusation was true or not, it eventually leads to his execution. Dietrich Bonhoeffer lived a very fascinating and truly inspiring life and was a symbol of hope to many Jews in Germany and I am really glad to see that Angel Studios is bringing his story to life. Bonhoeffer is scheduled to be released on November 2024 and the cast includes Jonas Dassler, Flula Borg and David Johnson. These are all actors I am unfamiliar with but I do have a lot of faith in Angel Studios being able to produce high quality films and TV shows as I am a huge fan of the Chosen TV series and the Sound of Freedom movie both of which were amazing dramas in their own right and produced by Angel Studios. So if you're looking for a great historical film about human compassion and kindness amidst the horrors of World War II, then Born Hoefer is my recommendation for you. At number 2 it is Shamrock Spitfire which tells the extraordinary true story of Irish pilot Brandon Finn Kane, who enlists in the RAF during World War II and quickly goes on to become the youngest wing commander in the history of the RAF. 
This movie got a limited release to cinemas in the UK and US on March 12, 2024 and Shamrock Spitfire is confirmed to get a worldwide distribution through streaming later on this year. But to what platforms Shamrock Spitfire will be getting released to is unclear as of now. Early reviews for this film have been great, currently sitting at a 7.4 on IMDb and one positive review on Rotten Tomato as well. The movie has received praise for being very well acted, having a very engaging storyline and being a visually engrossing film as well. Shamrock Spitfire has already won 52 film awards and it seems to finally provide viewers with a World War II movie that is more grounded and realistic rather than the usual huge Hollywood productions we seem to so often get. So be sure to check out Shamrock Spitfire when it starts getting streamed online to a platform at some point in 2024. And the top spot on this list goes to the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare which will focus on a group of highly skilled soldiers recruited specifically by Winston Churchill to fight against the Nazis using very irregular and unique war tactics, making them a crucial part of the Allies' eventual victory of World War II. This movie will be based off of the book Churchill's Secret Warriors, the explosive true story of the Special Forces Desperados of World War II. That is such a long title for a book, I have no clue how they managed to get all of that on a cover. But this film will provide a fictionalized account of Operation Postmaster, which was a mission carried out by the Special Forces to board and capture Italian and Spanish ships at the harbor of Fernando Po. And this would result in a reduction of the enemy's naval power overall. This movie will star Henry Cavill in the lead role as Gus March Phillips, who is the leader of the Special Operative Forces, and this movie will be directed and produced by Guy Ritchie. And I am sure this movie will be quite humorous and over the top as most of Guy Ritchie films usually are. But I also understand that these types of films don't appeal to everyone. But nonetheless, I am still a huge Guy Ritchie fan and Henry Cavill fan as well. So I can't wait to watch The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare when it gets released to cinemas worldwide on April 19, 2024. And lastly, I just wanted to apologize for the terrible audio in this video. I have lost my voice due to a cold and sore throat so thank you for bearing with me for the duration of this video. And remember, if you love anything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows, subscribe to my channel History Spark and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.